Can you see? Are we gonna do a video? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Will you clap with me? Welcome back everybody. It is officially springtime and that means it is finally time to start driving the 911 around. And something that I do every spring to make that possible or to make that a little bit better is I clean out the idle jets in the Weber carburetors. Yeah. yeah. So on an annual basis. You are red. You are red. Red? That car's blue. Oh, that car's red. Yeah. So with the gasoline quality these days and just all the gasoline that's flowing through here, the idle jets. They gum up, they get a little bit dirty. You can change the filters. They eventually get either clogged up, partially clogged up, or they just get a little bit dirty. It takes 10 minutes to pull these things out, run a little bit of carb cleaner through it. So that's what we take you through right now. About a couple years ago, I did do a full rebuild on these carburetors. So I'm thinking that'll probably be another video for another day, especially with my helper here. So we're gonna do a quick 10 minute, real easy driveway how to get your car going for the season, eliminate that carb cough. You ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's get started. So admittedly, when you first dive in here and take a look at these carburetors, okay. there is a lot going on and it's okay. easy to be... Okay. We're recording right now. It's easy to get intimidated and distracted okay. by, by all of the screws and the plugs okay. and the bolts in here. Quiet on the set. For the sake of today's video, ignore all this stuff. I promise we'll get into that at some point. We're only interested in three screws to clean out our idle jets and that's this one right here, that one right there, and that one right there. One, two, three. And by unscrewing that, the idle jet will come out. So simply unscrew this. So here's where you're gonna want a nice table to work on. And I've laid out some supplies here, the carb cleaner spray, a nice cup to put things in and slosh around, paper towel to keep things clean, and of course my lovely assistant to make things dirty. Okay, so once you get the screw out, you can pull the idle jet out of it and it'll just pop out like that. And this right here is the piece that you want to clean. Why did I do that? Because we're cleaning it. See this little hole right there? That's what has to be clean. It's this little hole that the gasoline flows through to get to the engine and go vroom vroom. So this little hole and this passage here is where you want to spray the carb cleaner through. So once you get these nice and clean, just give them a little blow to kind of dry it out. The carb cleaner will evaporate anyway, so you don't have to worry about it too much. A couple of rules of thumb, since these are brass, they're really fragile. Whatever you do, don't like uh, poke things through here to try and clean it out. Just use the, the spray and some, some air and they will eventually get clean. If you poke things through there, you're gonna, you have a chance of changing the diameter of these jets and that'll throw off your tuning real bad. So whatever you do, just use the spray, just use some air, they will come clean. And what you're looking for is you just give it a little peek through and make sure that you can see through and you don't see any gunk inside of these. Repeat for all six. And once you get them clean, just go ahead and pop it back together, screw it back in. Make sure that when you screw these in, you do it very gently. The carburetor bodies are very fragile too, so if you over tighten, you will crack your Weber carburetors, and it's a really expensive mistake to make. So just screw it in nice and easy, and uh, once you finish all six, you're good to go. Go ahead and warm the car up and take it for a spin. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. This was the quick, easy 15 minute driveway job that you can do before heading out to the next Cars and Coffee or your next drive. And what this will do is it'll just get your car back in shape, eliminate any of that carb coughing and just make for an overall better drive. So stay tuned. We will do a full carburetor breakdown and clean video as mine are getting a little bit dirty. So I think that they're gonna need it. 
But I hope that this helped and I hope it gets you back on the road. Thanks for watching. If you like this, go ahead, give me a subscribe, like it, share it, and we will see you next time. Plenty more Porsche content coming soon. You say bye-bye to the camera. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> bye-bye.